Okay, kiddos, time to learn a new song. This song is called Jesus Loves Me, and we've talked about this the last couple of weeks, about that no matter what, Jesus loves us. But we're going to have Miss Kathy lead us in this, and Miss Karen is going to show you some motions, and we want you to sing loud and sing strong. Well, good evening, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed learning that song, or maybe you already knew it. Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. You know, there's a lot we could learn from that song, but the one thing that we learn more than anything is that Jesus loves us. And you know, Jesus loves us so much that he gave his life for you and for me. He gave his life for us. Now, we just got through celebrating a few weeks back Valentine's Day, the day of love where you give your sweetheart or your mom or your dad or your grandmother, somebody, something to show them you love them, candy or a little present or something. But you know, God gave us something to tell us that he loves us. He gave us a love letter. And you know, the love letter that God gave us is the Bible. This is God's love letter to us. This is how he tells us how he loves us. This is how he tells us that he'll always be with us. And that no matter what, he'll be there for us. And so I'd like to look at two scriptures in God's love letter to us tonight with you, if that's okay. If you have your Bibles, if you have your love letter from God, turn with me to Romans. We're going to be in Romans tonight. 
We're going to start off with Romans 5, 8. Romans 5, 8. But God showed his great love for us by sending Jesus to die for us while we were still sinners. Jesus came and died for us even though we were still sinners. And what does that mean? Well, the song we just sang, Jesus loves me. And one of the verses says, Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things I should. But then it says, Jesus loves me when I'm bad, even though it makes him sad. See, there's nothing we can do to take away God's love. And even when we do things we know we shouldn't, we ask God to forgive us. He forgives us and he loves us anyway. And he loves us anyway because his son took our place for our sins. His son came and died on the cross to save us from our sins. And so Romans 5 eight tells us that God showed his love for us that even when we were sinners, he died for us. And then turn with me to Romans 8. Romans 8, 38. Romans 8, 38. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries for tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love. You know what it's like to be separated? You know what it's like to be lost? You know how scary that is? You know, I was thinking about this as I prepared this message for you boys and girls. I was thinking about a time when I was your age. And we went to a place as a family, my mom and dad, my brother and I, a place called, if you're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, you'll know, it's called the Green Dragon. And it's a big farmer's market, flea market. It's huge. It's building after building after building, outdoor, indoor. It's a gigantic place that's open during the weekends. And everybody that sells stuff comes there to sell stuff. There's just anything you can imagine is sold there. It's a big market. Well, we went there one Friday night. And I can remember I stopped to look at something and I wasn't paying attention. And all of a sudden I looked up. And mom and dad and Chris were gone. And I started looking around for them. I started looking everywhere and I got scared. I got so scared that I started to cry. And people came to me and they said, little boy, what's the matter? And I said, I lost my mom and dad. I've been separated from my mom and dad and I'm scared. And they made an announcement over the PA system that there was a little boy looking for his mom and dad and his name was Lowry. And they could find him at the booth where the policeman was. And when I saw my mom and my dad coming towards me, I was so happy. I was so overjoyed because I knew that I wasn't lost anymore. I had been found. And boys and girls, I'm here to tell you today, Jesus loves you more than anything in this world. He loves you. He doesn't want you to be lost. He has found you. He will protect you. And what you need to do is take your Bibles, God's love letter, and you need to read God's love letter to be reminded that more than anything, God loves you. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. God bless you.